Hello Year 8 and welcome to today's Shakespeare lesson. Today you're going to be introduced to Shakespeare's Hamlet, why to explore a scripted extract from Shakespeare's Hamlet. You're now going to watch a short video which gives a full synopsis of the play. Are you paying attention? What's in store? Welcome to Denmark, Elsinore. A place full of intrigue, there's something rotten going on Mistrust and plotting going on mm. People spying and lying, who do you trust? A prince once so carefree, but now his life sucks His father dead, his uncle took the throne Then went and married his mom. now Hamlet's all alone What's the point, get yeah, a point in life To be or not to be? That's the question Revenge is a terrible thing can Hamlet come on, can he kill the king? The ghost of Hamlet's dad appears Tells him his uncle murdered him by poison to the ears Hamlet, you must go and kill Claudius Avenge my death, get revenge for this awfulness Can Hamlet do it? He's so confused Acts mad and hopes everyone's totes fool While he investigates his father's end Loses sight of reality, gets violent and challenging Polonius, the king's minister, thinks Hamlet may be mad with love yeah. For his daughter Ophelia, cause he's acting funnily But Hamlet rejects her, says get thee to an honorary What's the point, yeah, that point in life To be or not to be? That's the question Losing a parent is devastating Now Hamlet's debating, yeah What's the point, yeah, that point in life To be or not to be? That's the question Revenge is a terrible thing Come on, can he kill the king? Hamlet devises a plan to expose the king Gets a group of players to act out his dad's killing As if Claudius did it, thinks if Claudius flinches He'll have the proof he needs, oh it's so simple The play's the thing, uh -huh. his uncle reacts and Hamlet's convinced yes. Later on he confronts his mom who is totally torn Between a love for a husband and her only son Polonius is hiding, listening in Hamlet is so angry, in a moment of madness He lashes out thinking he's killed the king But old Polonius, Ophelia's dad's the victim oh, no. At a graveyard, Hamlet picks up a skull Thinks about life, death and the point of it all mm. Next he sees Ophelia's funeral She's drowned, sad, cause the dad is no longer around What's the point, yeah, that point in life To be or not to be? That's the question Losing a parent is devastating now Hamlet's debating, yeah What's the point, yeah, that point in life To be or not to be? Revenge is a terrible thing Can Hamlet come on, can he kill the king? Things are getting awfully out of hand Killing Hamlet is now Claudius' plan He sets up a sword fight between Ophelia's brother and Hamlet Each man facing the other oh God. He's poisoned the tip of Laertes' sword To make sure he kills Prince Hamlet once and for all Claudius has also poisoned the cup But the queen picks it up, she drinks and she's done Bye bye Hamlet's last act, he kills his uncle dead At last, his father's death has been avenged But now Hamlet faces the end of his life And the rest, as they say, is silence I hope you enjoyed that short synopsis Now for your task you're going to read through the provided speech. What is happening? What do you imagine Hamlet to be like? How do you think Hamlet would speak? How do you think Hamlet would move? What gestures would he use? We will come back to this after looking at the script. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer, the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep, no more, and by a sleep to say we end, the heartache of the thousand natural shocks that the flesh is heir to, tis a consummation, devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream, aye, there's a rub, for in that sleep of death what dreams may come, for when we have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. Thinking about that extract, what do you imagine Hamlet to be like? How do you think Hamlet would speak? What kind of accent would he have? 
How would he use pitch, pace, pause, tone? How do you think Hamlet would move? What gestures would he use? What gait? What posture? You're now going to watch an example of how this soliloquy has been performed. Here you will see how one particular actor has used their voice and their physical skills to bring this soliloquy to life. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them, To die, to sleep, no more. And by a sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to, to the consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep. To sleep, perchance to dream. Aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. Your task. Use the scripted extract to bring the scene to life, thinking about how you would use your vocal skills. Pitch, pace, pause, tone, emphasis, intonation and accent. As well as your physical skills, for example, gesture, gait, posture, facial expressions and movement. You can either perform the soliloquy and video it and send it to Mrs. Harrell or attach it as an MP4 on Show My Homework, you can record a voice recording, or you can take the script and annotate with your ideas for vocal and physical skills. If you have any questions about this work, please email Mrs. Harrell, and once you've completed your work, upload to Show My Homework. And here is the soliloquy again for you to begin rehearsing. You will also find this on the PowerPoint, which will be uploaded on to show my homework. Good luck, and I will look forward to receiving your work.